back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Drisa. In today's video, you are going to see part two of my decorate refresh with me refresh decorate with me whatever you want to call it um in the last video you saw me decorate the entryway office and dining room consoles in this video you're going to see me decorate the living room and the kitchen and also some other little nicks nooks that I have <laughs> in the house so if you like what you hear please continue to watch don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already so that you can get all of my up and coming videos also we have a giveaway that is ongoing so it is supposed to end this thursday which is tomorrow hopefully i'll be able to get this video up for you guys tonight but if you haven't already go ahead and um, check out the prior video so you guys can enter into the giveaway if it's still open. Anywho, let's get straight into this video. Okay, for every refresh, you have to start off with a clean slate. So I am going to vacuum, fluff out the pillows, and have a blank slate. So I'm going to start off with my TV console where I'm going to add this home goods catch-all box. I thought it was so cute, low profile. And then add my clay pot with some dry floral and add this cute candle for some height difference. And then on the side of the console, you'll see that we have our router. I always want to hide this. Obviously, we don't want it in the aesthetics. So a good way to hide it is adding a basket and then, of course, adding some blankets to fill that basket. So because we have this blank space and our surround sound speaker, I thought it would be a great idea to move this olive tree that I got from Target a while back and put it here so that it can hide the sound bar. I'm gonna go ahead and add this cute little accent table that I got from Home Goods. As you see in my prior video, it's really cute and dainty. And then just add something on it, such as a candle, then add some tiered candle holders. And I thought this was perfect for this small area. We're gonna go over to the coffee table now and add my new favorite addition is this Architectural Digest book where we are going to add a vase on top. And then in the vase, I'm going to add these bushes that I got from Hobby Lobby. First pair of bushes you've probably seen before, but I just recently picked up this second pair. Now the second pair of bushes I got from Hobby Lobby as well and it also has an asymmetrical look to it. So, so it just cascades out of the base and I just love how the combination looks together. And then moving over to adding some cuteness. We have the tray and the cellulite sticks that I got from Home Goods, and then adding this cute catch-all glass from Ikea. Lately, I've been loving the look of different candle holder sticks, not matchy-matchy, and that is the look. I really like how everything turned out. It looks so nice and airy. So moving on to the couch. My couch is from American signature. I'm going to add these home good pillows that I always have year round. I am going to switch it out for my new pillows that is a part of my giveaway. I'm going to add the pillows that I'm including in my giveaway later on in the season but as of right now this is what I have on the sofa. So I got these block printed 
Hello Covers, and it is from a shop that I found on Instagram. These are floral block printed pillow covers. They're in the size uh, 20 by 20, and I really like how it looks because even though they're floral, they are quite subtle in my space. It really looks super nice. I am in love with the sage green color lately. That is my color. And um, I do love how it gives the area a pop with not without popping too much. But this is how it came out. I hope you guys like it. Um, I love how airy it looks. But let me know what you guys think. And let's go ahead and move over to the other end of the sofa. This elm stool I got from Zara. I love the craftsmanship. It's not, it's not antique or vintage or anything like that but it does give the illusion and then adding these this book and this candle it complements this side of the sofa ahead and move over to this little nook that I have. Now this store I DIY'd and I'll go ahead and link it. It's actually from Home Goods, but it was in this white color. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some books on it. And then this beautiful travel team spear that I got from Home Goods that everybody's been searching for. Gonna add that with the candle, glass candle holder. And like I said, all these glass elements that I'm adding is giving such a beautiful Parisian airy kind of look and I am loving it. Okay, so moving over to the kitchenette, I am going to add this bowl that I got from at home and the moss that you see, I just got some moss from Amazon and just added that to the bowl. And then off to the kitchen island, we have this Lazy Susan that I added, then added this vintage stone pan that I have. Now the colors are very similar, so I was kind of on the fence as to whether I liked it or not. Um, adding these candles in it just gave it more of like a romantic look. Um, but I don't know if I love it. I may change this in the near future. But I do, I went ahead and added some a sage stick as well as some greenery that I got from Trader Joe's just so that it didn't look so flat. So we're gonna move over to this one area of my kitchen counter space. These cutting boards I always have on the back. Then add in this Magnolia table book that you can get anywhere. It's, it's been out for the longest. Then add in these hydrangeas that I got from Target a while ago. I really like how the petals on the hydrangeas are very light in that creamy look. And then because this area, I was not feeling it as well. I added a candle, but you're gonna go ahead and see later on, I added another candle that was of, of a different height and also different color to give in that brass warm look that the it was trying to give, but it wasn't giving. So I'm gonna go ahead and tidy up add a blanket for some coziness and here is the final look i really like how everything turned out i'm gonna go ahead and give you a whole view of the entire um, downstairs how cohesive everything came together i really liked how the dining room complements the living room the kitchenette complements the dining room everything came together and i really Love how this looks. You guys let me know what you guys think. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.